Member for Camelus, North Thompson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, when I rose uh, in introductions and, and uh, mentioned our, our councillors that were here and, and the success of our non-stop Pacific coastal flight, it was a very good day for Kamloops. Uh, unfortunately, today, I have the other side of a, a coin like that, uh, where I'm uh, on my feet talking about the demise of Kamloops' last print newspaper. Uh, Kamloops this week uh, announced uh, a few days ago that October 25th will be their last uh, date of publication in Kamloops. Uh, we have had a newspaper physically in Kamloops since 1884. And so uh, this is a, a big uh, problematic uh, day in Kamloops on October 25th when we lose uh, those print publications. Uh, Kamloops this week, uh, always as all media does in Kamloops, punched above their weight uh, for many, many years that they were in publication. Uh, they were actually in publication in that form as comes this week for the last 35 years. Uh, and just last year, in fact, they were honoured and recognised uh, uh, and up for a Michener Award, which is the highest award you can receive in journalism in Canada. Um, and they went out to Ottawa um, uh, to try to win that award. Um, it's, a, it's a bittersweet day for sure. Uh, you think of the people, the reporters we deal with on a regular basis, uh, the staff within that publication, and even the kids that would help deliver those papers still. Uh, all will be looking for other forms of, of employment, but more importantly, the community will lose a, a main conduit uh, for information, uh, for, for digging into issues that matter to the, the residents, especially at a local level, because the, the more provincial-wide and national publications like a Sun or a Province or a Globe and Mail or National Post just simply can't dive, dig into those local issues like a Camus This Week or other publications in our communities can. So uh, I wish everyone well in their new endeavours uh, from Camus This Week. Uh, I know the member from Camus South Thompson shares that sentiment as well. And uh, we do hope, although it's a long shot, that we might see print come back in some form sometime in the future, but that's uh, highly doubtful. So it's a very unfortunate day in yet another community to lose print media once again.